Imagine living in a world teeming with the bounties of nature. A place where life is so diverse, it can sustain all your family's basic needs. Now, imagine this natural world slowly disappearing. A world without insects, birds, animals, plants, trees. Imagine a world with only humans. What will we eat? Where will we live? How will we survive? centuries, humans depended on their natural environment in order to live. The various components of the natural environment, from the mountain ridges down to the slopes and rivers, all the way to the oceans, have been utilized by generations as a lifeline. The variety of life found on Earth is what we refer to as biological diversity or biodiversity. Biodiversity is explored at three levels, genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Biodiversity ensures that we have sources of food, water, medicine, clothing, shelter, fuel, and livelihood. Biodiversity also provides ecosystem services that improve the quality of our life. These include cleaning the air, climate regulation, water purification, regulating diseases, or preventing erosion. The Philippines is one of 18 countries in the world considered as mega biodiverse. The Convention on Biological Diversity describes the Philippines as a country that houses two thirds of the Earth's variety of life and between 70 and 80 percent of the world's plant and animal species. Housing the bulk of biodiversity in the planet also means our country is left with the task of conserving and protecting these life forms not only for our people but also for the global community. Biodiversity conservation is not an easy task. Despite being mega-biodiverse, our country is also considered a biodiversity hotspot. This means that our natural resources are disappearing at an alarming rate. The destruction of biodiversity is caused primarily by human activities. Biodiversity sites remain under threat from over-extraction, logging, mining, land conversion, housing projects, and pollution. In order to address biodiversity conservation, the government, with the help of local officials, scientists, and communities, started identifying key biodiversity areas or KBAs. KBAs are vulnerable and irreplaceable areas considered as the remaining homes for many threatened species. In North Luzon, there are various key biodiversity areas which are also protected areas. These include Mount Pulag National Park in Benguet, Ifugao, and Nueva Vizcaya, the Northern Sierra Madre Natural Park in Isabela, Batanes Protected Landscape and Seascape, the Calvario Patapat Natural Park in Ilocos Norte, and Balbalasang Balbalan National Park in Kalinga. The Protected Area System allows for a stricter imposition of rules regarding building and construction, 
conduction of researches, ecotourism, prevention of destructive and illegal activities such as burning, logging, bioprospecting, poaching, hunting, and gathering. While the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, local government units covering the KBAs, or the indigenous communities and other forest-dependent communities are at the forefront of biodiversity conservation, they should not be the only ones involved in conservation efforts. Everyone must play a role in biodiversity conservation, including schools, the church, the courts, businesses, and tourists. Engaging everyone in biodiversity conservation begins with making them realize how close we all are to biodiversity sites and recognizing the benefits we receive. Finding our connection to the variety of life around us is a good step in protecting and enhancing biodiversity. There is also a need to assess the level of biodiversity in the area by identifying the species that live in the ecosystems there. Because of the country's mega-biodiversity, there is a very big chance that hundreds or thousands of new species are still waiting to be discovered. If we know what we have, we know what we are at risk of losing. There are many other things everyone can do for biodiversity conservation and protection. Be active members in cleaning and greening programs. Obey environmental laws even as simple as remembering to leave no trash behind. Report prohibited activities and known violators to put a stop to illegal wildlife trade, illegal logging, and pollution of air and water. Reduce the consumption of goods that are produced with high costs to the environment. Support only eco-friendly businesses as well as the livelihood of local and forest-dependent communities so they may augment their income without depending on over-extraction of natural resources. If a particular natural resource is needed regularly and at a high demand, a good alternative would be to grow or domesticate these resources. Reduce the amount of pollution and wastes produced by recycling, reusing, and saying no to excessive product packaging. For ages, indigenous communities have lived closely with the environment. They have developed sustainable practices gathering and utilizing natural resources. There is a designated period to hunt, sow, and plant, and a period to rest and wait. To continue benefiting from a natural resource in the future, we must give it a chance to grow. Ecotourism is another program being developed in some key biodiversity sites. When joining ecotourism activities, make sure to pay environmental user fees to help augment the financial cost of biodiversity conservation. Finally, teach the younger generation to care for the environment as our elders once have. The benefits from biodiversity must remain available for future generations. We owe it to them to leave as much biodiversity as we have been given. Human diversity is part of biodiversity. Every step we make in biodiversity conservation is also a step to life. Biodiversity is life. <music>